morning guys what is up welcome back to my channel and welcome to a productive vlog productive weekend productive days in my life whatever you want to call it we are going to get so much done this weekend i am so excited i feel like i haven't filmed like a true productive vlog in a hot hot minute so i'm really excited to bring you guys along on my weekend it's friday right now i'm just on my lunch break from work and i wanted to start this vlog off it was originally just going to be a saturday vlog but some of the stuff i'm doing saturday is coming today so we're going to do it today and you guys are going to find out in a few minutes but i'm really excited I just feel like since we moved in, I've just been very like getting into a routine with work and YouTube and I really haven't done much around the house. Like you guys are gonna see, the office is messy, the bathroom is messy, um, I've been throwing my clothes everywhere. So we're just gonna have a really productive, get our life together, weekend productive time. I just can't wait to bring you guys along. I know how much you guys love these videos and I'm really excited to be filming one for you guys today. But before we get into it, I just wanna put a little disclaimer in, kind of like a little rant for you guys. I promise I'll make it quick. But personally, when I'm like down in the dumps, need to feel motivated and inspired, I love watching productive vlogs because they just get me feeling really motivated to like get stuff done around the house. And that's what I want you guys to feel like when you watch these videos. They're just supposed to be fun and kind of like a little shimmer of motivation and like whatever sparkly boost that you guys need to like get stuff done. I don't want you guys to ever compare my productivity or my life to your life because I'm gonna let you guys know something. And that is that I have not been productive in like two weeks. And this vlog may seem like I have my life together and we're getting our lives together and I'm so productive all the time. But the truth is, I have not had a productive day since we moved into this house because like I do is work in YouTube. So I just don't want you guys to watch this and think that like, oh, she has her life together. It's amazing. It's perfect. Like that's literally why we're filming this video is because I don't have my life together in terms of like cleaning and organizing. So just a little disclaimer, um, I just hope you guys enjoy the video and it gives you like a little motivation or whatever boost you're missing to get stuff done. Anyways, I'm just really fired up, wanted to throw that in there. Anyways, just wanna put that little disclaimer in there and we're gonna get into the video. First thing we're gonna do is make a to-do list. It would not be a productive vlog without a to-do list, which I have not done in so long. I kind of started my to-do list in my planner, which, okay guys, I lied. Before we make our to-do list, let's go make the bed because I have not done that yet and it's noon, which is proof that my life is a mess. So let's go make the bed that just like always gets me off on like a good productive roll because the bed is just something so simple to do, but it's like a check off your to-do list. So let's go make the bed, then we'll make a to-do list. guys to-do list has been made like I said we have a lot to get done um, I, a lot of this I'm gonna do tomorrow but I am gonna put together my bookcase when it comes today after work so I love making a to-do list especially like the beginning of the weekend or like a Friday just because then tomorrow I wake up and it's like okay I know what I need to do let's get it done but I'm actually going to get back to work for a little bit and then I will chat with you guys after work alrighty guys my bookcase just got here so I think we're gonna put it together and that means I need to move this stuff out of the way because the bookcase is actually going to go right against this little wall. Moment of truth. Do you think mommy's bookcase came broken again or not? Tupperware that when we left the condo I just put all of our Disney stuff in it so that is what my bookcase is gonna be and there it is all set up we just put it on the corner I kind of liked it there and then there it is on the corner and we're gonna set it up Uh, 
obviously it's not like perfect things are gonna get moved around but this is what i have so far i really like it so i have this print that i got at disney springs then my funko pops and then all my books and then i have my keys here because i can store them in this little cup and then i have my little sorcerer mickey clock and then down here i have extra stuff so like stuff that matt's bought me and then these are all of our pins and magic bands and i just don't know what to do with them yet i want to get like a little magic band display for one of them so down the line i'm sure like some of these things will be condensed onto one shelf but for now i figured i would just fill it and i just need to figure out what to do with my metals now and i was hoping that my lounge flies would fit on the top one but they don't which is fine so i'm just gonna go ahead and put those back in the closet i just had a really great idea to get like a floating shelf here to hang my i don't know i guess whatever i could hang my medals on it or like some of my ears that would be so cute that is really smart thinking but i'm just gonna kind of like tidy up now and this desk needs a lot of tidying up like look all this garbage is under there so we're gonna tackle my desk now <laughs> keep going in the office because i'm feeling really like energized so i think i'm just gonna clean my office i just need to like wipe everything down i get like a lot of coffee stains on here so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the office and then finish everything tomorrow and go on my errands but i figure while i'm in here i may as well clean it so let's clean up my office and then really random but this drawer under my bed has become a home to like everything so i need to go through this and organize it like literally this is supposed to be for pajamas and i just throw clothes in here every day so i'm gonna go ahead and organize this get that cleaned up and I'll just have some laundry to put away Organizing my closet was not on my list of things to do, but it's happening because I just have the energy. So this was in our spare room, but I'm actually going to put that in there so I can put like all my underwear and stuff like that in there so that I can take all of my jeans out. Is this space, space better because I just feel like it's like it's wasted space, you know? So... Organizing the closet and the spare room were not on my list of things to do, but I literally just couldn't stop. I was like so feeling motivated to like clean and organize. I feel like when we moved in, I mean, I feel like a lot of people do this. We just kind of like put stuff places and now I'm like realizing like, okay, I need to go in and actually like organize and figure out like where things are going to go so we can find them. So I'm glad I did some of that, but I just went and checked the mail and I had a few packages that I wanted to open with you guys. And then I think I'm going to chill. I'm going to go have a picnic with two of my close girlfriends tonight because now in Ontario, our um, stay-at-home order has been lifted. We're like in an awkward stage where the stay-at-home order has been lifted and you can gather in groups of five outside, but non-essential retail isn't opening for two weeks. So we're kind of like in an awkward period, but I'm really excited to be able to see my friends tonight. So we're just going to have like a little picnic outside. Um, I figured I'd show you guys some packages I got. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I'm doing a Instagram collaboration with Beaver Tails, which if you're Canadian, you already know Beaver Tails is. It's literally like the most exciting brand deal ever. And they sent me a cute little like PR package. So they sent me over this little bucket hat, which I'm not a bucket hat kind of gal, but I could be for Beaver Tails, you know? Probably the most unique PR package I've ever gotten. I love it. They sent over a little like chocolate air freshener and then some pins. 
which are so cute. And then they sent over a few coupons for some free beaver tails so I can do the collaboration. And then they just sent over this, I don't even know what it is, but it's just like this little foam beaver. I guess I can put him on my desk. So that is the cute little PR package I got from Beaver Tails. So thank you guys. You guys know how much I love my vitamins. So I just got a little stock up. They just came out with a multivitamin actually. So I'm really excited. This packaging, you guys know that I use their probiotic and their um, vitality all the time. And they just sent over their new multivitamin, which is so, so pretty. I'm really excited about that. So thank you guys. For the Sephora changed their packaging. Sephora stands sustainability. We belong to something beautiful. Wow, I'm really, really impressed by this packaging. Out of some ordinary products, and I just got a big stock up of the hyaluronic acid. Um, I finally, finally trying the retinol. Um, so I just got the 0.5. You can get the 0 0.25, 0 0.5, or 1%. And obviously, retinol is pretty strong, so I just wanted to start with the 0.5. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I'm really nervous because. I have really sensitive skin, so that's why I've held off on trying it, but I'm ready to do it. So my little unboxing, and I am literally sweating. It is so hot out. I don't know why I decided today was the day to organize, but it was. But I'm glad I kind of got all this out of the way today because then tomorrow I can just kind of like go run all my errands and stuff. So that's like my little unboxing. I'm going to relax for a little bit, and I might talk to you guys later on tonight. I might talk to you guys tomorrow. I might just relax the rest of the night. Who knows, but... morning guys happy saturday you guys are probably so confused right now because i'm literally up and it's 5 45 and i didn't say anything yesterday but basically last night i came home from my little picnic with my friends which was so needed i have not socialized with like anyone outside of family and like like christmas it feels like so that was so nice but um, long story short work called me last night at like 9 30 and i usually don't pick up i just let it go to voicemail but for some reason i picked it up and they asked me if I could work. And the reason I don't pick up the phone is because anytime they ask me to work, I'm always going to say yes because I'm a people pleaser and I just don't know how to say no, which is like okay to an extent until you get burnt out. But long story short, they asked me if I would want to help out this morning. And I said yes from like 6 to 12 because honestly, I was just going to sit on the couch all morning anyways until I like wanted to be productive. So I was like, let's go make a couple extra hundred dollars it's the weekend i have weekend premium like i was like why not i'm i'm not doing much so um i'm here at work you guys are new here i do have a second job at a different hospital at our pediatric hospital um but i just work prn which is basically like just working as needed like you're not like a part-time employee you're just like a casual employee and you just work whenever they need like sick relief or vacation relief um and i don't have any like set shifts so in may i worked once and in june i have like I don't know, like eight or nine shifts. I have a decent amount of shifts in June because I'm almost taking vacation. And easy way for me to just like make a little bit of extra money to put towards like my savings or whatever I want to do. Um, like the shift will be like $200. That's $200 I can put in my savings. Like why not? Um, really going to be a productive day because I'm literally up with the crack of dawn and I'm getting a shift in before I get stuff done. Um, but there's also something about working in the summer early that I don't mind as much compared to winter because it's bright outside. Like when I woke up at five, it was bright out. I don't know, but I've got a coffee in my roommate. Um, I just made an Alto Intenso pod last night, put it in the fridge overnight, and I am going to do my COVID screening and then head into work. Hey guys, I am done work now. It is 1230 and I'm just about to run a bunch of errands. I have like a few curbside orders to pick up and I had to stop at the dollar store. I just went there. I'll do like a little haul when I get home. It's literally nothing exciting. Like I need like shampoo, stuff for a video and cleaning stuff. But I'll still give you a haul when you get home because why not? But I try and kind of bunch my curbside orders together if I can so that's what I'm doing and then on the way home I have some returns to make to the post office anyways we're gonna go run all of our curbside pickup orders and I will see you guys when we're back at home finished my errands and I stopped at Starbucks to get some stuff for Matt just because he's post nights and I love to surprise him with coffee so I got his usual you guys probably know his order by now iced Americano with oat milk because it's hot usually it's a hot Americano and I obviously didn't have a third coffee so I got this like mango dragon fruit refresher I got it like with light everything because I like to drink my sugar like I'd rather have a cookie but I just want something refreshing and it's really really yummy I'm really surprised and I also got Matt a blueberry scone but I was good and I did not get one but I'm heading home now Alrighty guys, I told you guys it would not be an exciting haul. 
Um, but I did a curbside order pickup at Party City for Stella's birthday. They had a ton of stuff on clearance and I knew that I wanted to do a Mickey Mouse first birthday because I'm a crazy dog mom. So all this was like a dollar, which is crazy. So we got some balloons, we got some candles, I got a banner, <laughs> and then I got a bunch of these like little string decorations. I'm literally a psycho dog mom. But I'm very excited about that. And then I went to the dollar store and I went in to pick up shampoo and conditioner, but the aisles were all open, which was kind of nice. So I love the Live Clean shampoo and conditioner and they always have it for like $3 at Dollarama. So I just picked up some of that. Then I got this little monthly planner, which I thought would be nice to just keep on my desk to have an overview of videos. And it was literally $2. I wanted to go buy one on Amazon that was like 15 So I got that and then kind of random but I don't have a toilet paper like holder in my bathroom and obviously since we're going to renovate down the line there's no point in putting one in so I just got a paper towel holder because I figured it could hold like two toilet papers. Then I got my dad a bag for Father's Day and my curbside order Bed Bath & Beyond was just stuff from my Nespresso video so I just got some different ice cube trays. Um, so I got these big silicone ones which I'm pretty sure these are for like whiskey and stuff but I just got some big ice cubes and then I also got some little ice cubes because I just like little ice. And then this cup was on clearance for a dollar. So I thought it would be cute, but it's really freaking tiny, even though it said it was 14 ounces. Um, but I don't know, it's cute. I don't know what I could put in it, like maybe a little mini iced coffee, but it was like a dollar, so whatever. And then a Canadian tire. We just had to get some of those like toilet things that you put on there to make it smell good. And then we were running out of bathroom cleaner. That is my haul. How's your day going, Stella? How's it going? I'm going to put um, all of this away, put like all the bathroom stuff in there, and then afterwards, I think I'm going to relax for a bit, but I think afterwards I'm going to plan out my month with all my YouTube videos and stuff. So that is what we got. I did that little haul for you guys and then I had like a little bit of like a self-care afternoon um I basically just popped on some self tanner which is why I probably look tan and then I just took a nap and relaxed and that's my favorite thing about the Coco and Eve express tanner is that it's two hours and I typically just put it on and then take a nap because it doesn't stain and it dries super quick which I love so that's what I did um, and I just didn't show you guys that because I'm really working on trying to reduce my repetitive content which I think is something that a lot of like lifestyle any any niche youtuber goes through is that I just want to show you guys all of my day even if it doesn't pertain to the video and I'm really trying to work on that so come in an upcoming like self-care routine but basically I just did a self tanner took a shower relaxed all that jazz um, and now we're gonna finish the vlog off and I'm going to kind of plan my month of youtube videos and like show you guys the new monthly planner that i got i'm really excited about it because like i said i wanted to have something i could just like have looking on a glance on my desk um for youtube especially since like my manager and i text back and forth all the time and so it's really nice to just have something there that i can just glance at instead of like grabbing my computer going to my google calendar like all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and plan that. I've even turned on my monitor, um, which I usually use for work, but I also obviously use it for like content and whatnot, and throw up my calendar on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and organize my monthly planner, and then I'll go ahead and vlog off. This is the planner, like I showed you guys. So I just went ahead and numbered all the days because it comes undated, which I really like. And you can actually circle the month up here if you want. And then I just made like a little legend down here. Um, just so I kind of know what everything means. It's the same colors that are on my calendar, just so it kind of corresponds better. What my calendar looks like. I'm on my work computer right now, that's why. Um, but those are all the different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and go through kind of like my month and put it onto this calendar here. This is what it looks like. So I obviously hate using whiteout, but I made a mistake. So I did the first two weeks and then obviously the rest of them I just did like upload with no video because sometimes I do have to change stuff around. So the week of, so this week I filled in my videos because I know what they're going to be. But the rest of the month I just kind of put upload for now so I have an idea. 
Um, I put my calls in, my filming days, any collabs, all that kind of stuff. So I literally love how that turned out. I really love it. I think I'm just going to keep it right here and then I can use it as like, I can also use it as like a mouse pad or something. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog off here just because I'm going to probably spend the rest of the day relaxing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want to see more productive vlogs like completing my to-do list. I've definitely missed filming these so, so much. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already because we're so close to 20k. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.